Shark Bay, nine hours drive north of Perth, is a truly remarkable destination and rightly deserves its place on the World Heritage List. And the place to base yourself, whether you're camping or travelling in style, right here at the RAC Monkey Mire Dolphin Resort. The dolphins up here at Monkey Mire are world famous for a very good reason. This is an amazing experience. And once you get up to Shark Bay, there are so many things to do and different ways to connect with this place. And I promise you the adventure that we're going on today will be every bit as memorable as those dolphins. Darren, or Capesy as he's known around here, is a local boy and a day out with him is the chance to experience a Shark Bay many of us didn't know existed. In our language, Chrissy, how are you? We say Yandani, and Yandani means welcome, yeah. and Guda Da Guda is our traditional Aboriginal name for the Shark Bay area, okay. and that translates to two waters, because when you see this place on a map, you'll see two bays that dominate the landscape. We call ourselves saltwater people, or Yamajiwadia, Aboriginal people from the ocean, because we live near the, the coast. So this is the place where the desert meets the ocean. And my job, Chrissy, is to introduce people to Guda Da Guda and be able to feel the energy for Guda Da Guda so that you know, when you leave, you'll take something inside when you go. All you need to bring on this tour is your sense of adventure. When you look at this sort of stuff, what can you see? Bush. Well, when you look closely, you'll see things like this. Beautiful little orange berries. We call that Gerenyenango, or ruby salt bush. And these beautiful uh, orange berries are quite sweet like a big bush supermarket, but it's also like a pharmacy. Smell that. What's that smell like? Vicks. Vicks. At Bottle Bay, while we're blown away by the cliffs, Capesy has one last culinary treat for us. So, do you actually fish off the beach and stuff here as well? Or? Absolutely. Right. So beach fishing's one of the best things to do to get a feed. You get oysters down there, obviously you get fish when they come in. This is the seafood section of the supermarket. Once we've had our feed of oysters, Capesy is keen to point out the best view around. Skipjack Point, with water clear enough to pick out dugongs and eagle rays swimming in the shallow waters at the base. For photographers, this is heaven. When we finally hit Point Perrin itself, there's just enough daylight left for one last chance to get in touch and really immerse ourselves. And by putting these handprints on the ground, it symbolises our presence here also represents both desert coming down where the red sand meets the salt water. This is an experience that leaves you wishing this was your home. And stunning scenery aside, I think Capesy can take a lot of the credit for that.